Hi there. Uh, this is a quick tour of the perspective tool. Um, what it does is it lets you uh, either upload a uh, picture or uh, use an image from a website um, and overlay uh, perspective points and uh, guides um, and then either save that as an image locally or uh, save it as a URL that you can then, uh, share uh, with other people. So first you choose and you select a, an image. I've got a perspective sketch here. Hit submit. And it gives you a, a URL. You can bookmark this URL in case you want to come back to it later. Uh, this won't actually have any uh, guides on it. When you save it, you'll get a different URL that's got uh, the guides embedded in it. Uh, you click it. The scripts load. Um, and if you want to resize your window, uh, then you can just resize. So notice when I drag the window, it doesn't resize. But if you reload the page, then the image is scaled a bit. So here, I maximized it. And a quick reload. So it's important that you save and get your URL before you start resizing things. Okay, so once you're in the tool, um, you'll see up here we have a little control palette. Uh, you can drag it with the top right corner to move it around and keep it out of the way. And we have some basic tabs here that let us adjust our horizon and select which vanishing points we want to display and move them around. So first we're going to move the horizon down a little bit and you'll notice that it goes kind of slow. So what it says here is you can hold shift or control and that'll move larger increments. So shift goes a little faster, control goes much faster. Hold shift and control together and you get really big jumps. That's really handy for when you pull a vanishing point about 15 screens off in either direction. Uh, and if you find that your image isn't exactly rotated just right, you can tweak the rotation of your image. Then you select the vanishing point, click active, and you'll notice it appears on the horizon here. And you can scoot it, I'm holding control here, scoot it out. And so we can make this vanishing point out here, and it's going to be pulling in all these lines. So back in the controls, we have this little add that adds a pin to the middle of the screen, and we can then just drag that to where we want it to check our perspective. Here we can already see that our uh, vanishing point one needs to be way out in the distance. So holding shift and control, and lots of big jumps way out. And let's adjust this guy down a little bit. So that looks pretty good. Our sketch wasn't too far off. It looks like our horizon actually needs to go a little bit higher. Alright, and we can start with the second vanishing point. It appears in the middle of the screen. Move it up. And we'll start adding our points. Actually, we want to go here. Yeah, okay, so we don't actually need this one. So, to get rid of a point, you turn on delete mode, and you can just click a pin, and it'll go away. You turn off delete mode when you're done. Uh, 
and let's go ahead and scoot this way up the distance. So here we can quickly see that we've got some funny stuff going on down here in this bottom waterline perspective was way off in our sketch, so that's kind of need to come back and revisit it. Vanishing point three starts up floating up in the top of the sky. Um, and unlike the other vanishing points, it can move right and left and up and down. So depending on how intense you want your perspective tilt for your verticals, you can adjust that. Shoot that way up in the sky. Drone shift. Looks like it's off to a little to the sides. If you get one now, we can still be a little to the side. I'm pretty happy with this, and I've got some ideas that I need to take into Photoshop and make some refinements. Uh, so I can just right click the image, save image as, dialogue there it is, and you get to save it as a PNG file, just hit save, and you're set. Uh, if this is an image you want to share uh, for critique or feedback, um, you hit the save button and it gets you a URL. Uh, this URL you can just pop up and you can just paste it into a forum or a chat or whatever and anybody who visits it will load the screen and immediately have all those guides pop up. Alright, I hope uh, people find this useful. A couple other fun things I think would be interesting to add to this, but uh, please let me know if you have any suggestions.